I'm Harold Sports Writer, Mary Navarro, here with one of my favorite all-time coaches and the Norland Vikings, Coach Daryl Heidelberg. And uh, Coach Berg, I was just telling your kids, you and I go way back, back to the days when you were coaching baseball. <laughs> yeah, a um, long time ago. But uh, like I said, I'm happy to be the coach of Norland. It's, it's done me well. Um, I think I got a very good group this year. I know I have a very good group this year. So uh, we're excited about the upcoming season. Now, before we get to these kids, you got to tell me about uh, the two kids that just got drafted in the NFL. I'm sure as a coach, uh, when you get two of your guys, Mr. Flowers and Mr. Duke Johnson drafted, especially a first rounder, that's got to be a highlight for you. Yeah, it was a, it was a highlight um, for my career. I mean, I've never had a kid get drafted that high. Um, so, I mean, I, I speak with them both. You know, they're doing well. You know, um, they say it's still the same game, just a little faster, you know. Um, I try to get them to come back and share their experiences with the kids. Um, but other than that, man, I'm excited for, them, for those guys. Uh, I think it's great that they actually know them, so, you know, to keep them focused and, and, and so I can get more guys there. At the same time, too, though, it's got to serve as a reminder because they get drafted. That was your last state championship team. I'm sure you're hungry for another one already, right? And you look at these guys and say, all right, time for you guys to get one. Exactly. I, I do see uh, the talent in this group that I had in that group. Um, so I'm putting the same expectation on this group that I put on that group. Um, like I said, with Eric Flowers, Duke, we had a dynamic offensive player, dynamic lineman, you know, that we can count on. I have that intel for it. Rod's been in the system now for three years, you know, four years from JV. You know, he, he knows my expectations. You know, I'm putting it on him. Defensively, we had Keith Brown, you know, Fetty Davy. We got Emin and Vashon, you know, same two type caliber players. You know, everybody's going to college. You know, I'm putting that same expectation on them. So they've seen a different Coach Bird this year, not the laid back, you know, guy. I've been, I've been in him. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, it's, you know, it'll turn out for the best. All right, well, I'm going to go around to the rest of you guys now. And, uh, Rod, just tell me a little about this offense and, and your, your expectations for this season. Uh, you look back at last season, that defense was so good. You guys were in games, just couldn't get enough points maybe to win. Talk about that a little bit and how you plan to change that this year. This year? How we would change it? We we coming we come out a lot faster. We started slowing in a lot of games last year, put up points in the fourth quarter, but never really scored throughout the game. So this year we're gonna score fast. Even we go over to you now, and uh, as far as blocking and just the importance of that going into this season. How did you guys do as an offensive line last year, and how much room was there for improvement? Uh, last year we didn't do too well, but this year we got we way better than last year. Cause we got a coach and I couldn't make sure we get everything done. You say you got a coach. Who's coaching? What's the difference? What's he doing? Uh, he's on our back every play to make sure we're doing what we got to do. You're, of course, committed to the University of Florida. We got, we got an FSU guy here too, right? And we got any, any rival already on between offense and defense and practice between you guys? Of course, it's a rival going like just offense versus defense, not even school wise, but just because we're going to different schools that's such big rival, it made practice even more more intense. Now, obviously, we know the defense uh, as a whole last year, such a good group. How do you guys get better? What, what room for improvement do you have? Well, last year we did our best, but we didn't do as much because last year we weren't supposed to make no team score on this period. So we made that happen. So we we coming back. We 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 cleaning up everything that we messed up last year. We trying to be the best defense in the state. Coach Bird, getting back to you here for a second. So uh, you got some big time commitments. Who who's not here today that you should be talking about that you think is going to be stepping up besides these four guys? Um, I mean, we have a couple of guys. Our, our running back Chavis Wright. He was a running back last year. Transformed his body. You know, he's going to be back again. Like I said, another four year guy. Um, who else? Who else we got? Yeah. Give me somebody. Keon Holder, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Val Mays. All these guys were on the defense last year, um, like I said, and I'm expecting them to create more turnovers. That's the way we can get. We created the turnovers, but if I can tell you how many fumbles were on the ground that we just didn't pick up, you know, things like that. So there, there is a lot of room for improvement. Um, like I said, the offensive line, we were sketchy with a coach last year. Now I got Coach Jay, he's in the building. I mean, the offensive line rarely did extra work last year. This year, the coach is with him. They're at his house, they're in the weight room. They're like, he, they, they, he's on their back and, and it's showing. 
you know, it, it's showing. These guys used to just run through my offensive line last year. <laughs> now they, you know, now they, at least they think now about they're it. Some, they're some yeah. Resistance. <laughs> resistance. Now they're <laughs> still coming hard, but, you know, now they know they're going to get hit back. And, and that's all I can ask for is the improvement. Like I said, um, let me see who else, who else should be here. That, you know, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan Robinson, you know, the two receivers, 6'3 receiver, you know, um, Terry Bond, Terry Bond, my two little JV guys. They, you know, see, like, so, so, and that's what I'm saying. I do have this family atmosphere with these kids. You know, they've all been coming up through the system and, you know, they're helping each other. That, that's, that's one thing that I did have on that state team where Duke was the guy, but he was his, his mannerisms and his mentality was he was always trying to help the other guy, even though he knew he was the guy. Right. These, it's the same type of situation. These guys, they're clearly, you know what I'm saying, the top guys I have on the team, but they're always pushing the other guys on the team to get better. And, you know, I think that's going to be the difference maker. All right, guys, we wish you guys the best of luck. Hope to see New Orleans back in the playoffs this year. Get, get over that hurdle. Yep. Yes, sir. We'll be there. All right, boys. Thank you.